And three, two, one, boom, and we're back with another episode of Crack Gamers. This episode is sponsored by Zen Real Clothing Co. Pick up your tees and accessories and hoodies at zenrealclothingco.com. Use offer code SGPODCAST for 20% off your order. Okay, so this is a movie review. We checked out 1917 yesterday, and uh, what a fitting game to be playing. <laughs> we're playing Call of Duty. If you're not watching this on YouTube, um, yeah, we're, we're playing Call of Duty. Anyway, so just like every movie review, we're going to score it, talk about it, score it again, see if we sway each other's opinions. But this is a pretty epic one. So, uh, Vish, you go first. Go. Score? Yeah, score. Uh, I'll say eight. Oh, nice. Not bad, not bad. Eight. Uh, you know, I'm with you on this. So I'm going to go eight as well. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go eight. Eight seems pretty fitting. Uh, it was pretty epic. There were some like points where I was like, eh. Which is actually kind of funny because my sister told me at the end that she fell asleep. Okay. So there, there were a couple points where she fell asleep. And I was like, oh, okay. I felt that too, though. I didn't feel that. Really? Eh? The yeah, entire no. time? Okay, okay. So what did it, you what did you like about the movie? So, uh, since we're... so just I felt like I was in the world. Okay. And nice. like the intensity, like I was like... Like trying to look around for the guy as well. Like where are these enemies? Right, come totally, from? totally. You know what I think it was? I think it was the single shot. Yeah. Because of the way this the movie was filmed. So what was so unique about this movie as compared to other war films is that it used like um, I don't really like to call it single shot because that's like a misnomer. Like seamless, seamless cutting. What what do we call it last time? Seamless, seamless. So I'm gonna call it seamless cuts. So it used like seamless cuts. So basically, it's like it is the illusion of it being filmed nonstop. Yeah. Right. So you just well, it's see, still like, called single shot, but like the way it's done is, um, uh, like, uh, with the seamless uh, transition or cuts mm-hmm. that you don't even see seamless transition. That's a good one. I like that seamless transition. Yeah. So that you don't even that. see the where they put that in but it's like it's done so like it still feels like a whole single shot totally i i think one of the the but there was i feel like there was like two parts to it too like in a sense like um uh like the first part was all in the morning and then then it starts off at night or oh true i didn't even catch that that, yeah yeah, yeah. because it was only one day right it was one yeah it was like uh yeah it spanned the entire day yeah so like how do you they had to somehow um make up for the time that they the nighttime that they're gonna lose, right? Right, right, right. Totally, totally. And it wouldn't work in a nighttime shot for that kind of movie. Like, it would just totally, yeah. But I felt like the the nighttime scenes were so epic. Like, okay, so well, one thing that I liked was yeah, obviously the seamless transitions, but um, I liked the sets. Like everything felt yeah. so like grand, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But like it was the illusion of grandeur because it's like you're not actually seeing the entire set. You're seeing it through the lens of the person. So it feels like a bigger world than it is. But yeah. really you just have to fill the one frame, every yeah. frame. Mm-hmm. You don't actually have to build out a set, you know? Uh, I guess, yeah. Like, like, so like in a different, in a different movie like you build out a whole set so you can cut different angles Mm -hmm. right so you have to like be able to fill an entire space to like cut to the angle but like in this one since there's no angles it's just like behind the back of the guy Mm -hmm. the majority of it then it's like you just need to fill that one area so it's the illusion right right um but i still feel like because they were following it for a long path it's like it's still a pretty big set no totally yeah yeah. but it's yeah. like but i was like but when do you have to cut it so like they would just need to cut it and then reset for the next set mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's like you don't you could have done this whole thing in a warehouse yeah but it was all done outside though. oh okay that's cool didn't know that yeah if you watch like some of the the, the filming of this one of how they did it yeah okay oh yeah it's all like outside sets it's not inside oh that's interesting so like a lot of the like that's why the outside shots like they really had to worry about like lighting and stuff totally that makes sense um because there was uh like if it got really sunny outside it's too uh bright right it'll wash out the image that they want the quality so they have to wait till it gets cloudy then start filming again right 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 so it was really uh so they, I think to what keep they up said, with the seamless yeah, transitions. Yeah, so I think what they said was like it's um they're really up to the weather. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's cool. cool. Yeah. I wonder if like 
like I wonder if they actually had to film those scenes for a long period of time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Like, um, is is funny because like my sister, she didn't really like look behind the scenes of like how movies are made. Yeah. So like she was like, "Wow, they must have not had to mess up." And I was like, "No, dude. Like, there's there's cuts. So there's definitely cuts. Yeah. You don't know where the cuts were. Yeah. You know. So like that's the thing. Um, it was a good illusion for people who don't see, really. Uh, like, yeah, so that was that was a bit of a distraction in the sense like yeah, not, it was, was not the movie's say, fault. Yeah, it was it was fault. it was my fault in the sense mm-hmm. of looking for where the cuts were. And then I started to think like as I was watching, I was like, okay, let's. Just I should stop, stop doing this, doing yeah, this yeah, and totally. then just enjoy the movie. I, I completely agree. And with then you. think about this later. I was I was honestly thinking that too. I was like I was like I wonder if this is hindering my experience right now because I'm like not in it. I'm just trying to be like, there's a cut. Oh, that's probably where they cut it. You right. Know? Yeah. 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 That's. I did see that in the car, like the first couple, like especially like whenever there's like something's, uh, whenever like that fence or something comes quickly in front of the scene. Yeah. 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 So or like those walks are the across, ones. Yeah. Like, okay. So like, okay, I'm looking for that, but like I don't think a lot of it. Uh, there was a lot of it that um, weren't like cuts, but like you can tell like some were, like because it's like uh, you're also trying to find follow the guy, and then where does he come out of the shot or in shot? Yeah. Totally. Like that. Totally. Um. But a lot of uh, uh, but there were some really great long shot scenes too. Like, uh, yeah, totally, I agree. I felt there was no cuts in that, and the way they were done were really well. Yeah. All right. So, um, technical stuff aside, story wise, now, like, what, what did you like about? I like that they killed the main. I like the bait and switch, where you <laughs> thought the main character was gonna be the main character, and they killed. Right. Him I thought I was like, like oh, right away, what? like, yeah. I thought that um, the younger guy uh, felt like. Or was he going to be the only one alive? Yeah, because they kept trying to like almost kill the main, the actual main character. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um. So, like, with the story wise, I thought it was really well done in the sense of actually experiencing what World War One felt. Yeah, like. Yeah, true, true, true. I agree, I agree. Because because the yeah. way they killed the main character, it wasn't like it wasn't like an epic kill. It was like his back was turned. You hear a scream. You turn around. He's like, oh, he's been stabbed. Yeah, by the person yeah, They were trying yeah. to save. Yeah. So it's like even in saving someone you should it kind of give you that feeling of like you should always look out for your back yeah you know because like even they tried to like be nice to this german soldier because they're like oh he's gonna burn to death yeah let's save him and then like they're looking for like water to put out the fire and then he turns back around it's like oh he got stabbed Mm -hmm. yeah it's weird yeah and it was uh like world war one is not really talked about a lot Mm, true. Yeah, that, that was another thing. It's, so like, it's like it's World War One, yeah, not World War Two. Exactly. And then like, in, you know, it's like hearing them call them as Germans. They're not Nazis. In this yeah, 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 totally, totally, yeah. So, so yeah. Were, the, were the Germans the bad guys in both World War One yeah. and Two? Oh, okay, didn't know that. Well, bad guys in perspective, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, totally. So yes, they were on the other side. I, I forgot the other two other countries that they were where they were with, allied with Germany. Mm. Um, yeah. So it, and like the other things, uh, it's just like the journey of one person that has to go through, which was I think it felt more like gave it um, more of like a understanding to that time, right, 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 and how like very quickly your life could be gone. Yeah, totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. It felt like a Game of Thrones kind of thing, where yeah. like in Game of Thrones, the reason why I like Game of Thrones because like people would die, mm-hmm. like, and it would just be like. It's so nonchalant. Yeah. But that's how people die in real life, you know? They just mm-hmm. die. It's yeah. not like some epic death. Right, right. You know? Right. Yeah. It's like, oh, they're dead. Oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. You know, not cool, but like, you know, oh, it's just, it happened. Right, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, uh, like, some of the things in the World War One that they kind of showed, like, I was, uh, like, you don't see all the character or people that are involved. Like, uh, I was impressed that they had like um, these Indian soldiers or Sikh. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, okay, yeah, because they were actually in. I played a game um, I don't know, many years ago. Was it ago. Call of Duty? Uh, no, no, it was about World War One, but okay. also talked about the Wolfenstein. No, oh. it's not. It's not. It's called. It's like a indie game. Oh okay. A variant or I, don't, I forgot what the exact name was, but um, Medal of Honor. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, in that one, they had like they explained like I didn't know either, but I learned from the game that they had there was like Sikh soldiers that were also part of the war hmm, that I did not know about before. And then having them shown in the movie is kind of it's pretty interesting to to show because a lot of people don't know that. Right? Yeah, I didn't know that. I was like yeah. I was so confused. I was like I thought there was a problem with you guys, like with the whole like British mm-hmm. and the 
um what's his name gandhi thing right well yeah that was there but like they also trained these other indian soldiers and they even showed like a black a black dude Mm -hmm. and i was like oh why are you here too i thought it was just gonna be but it makes sense that they would yeah they would just conserve conscript everyone yeah um Uh, i I, mm -hmm. one of the things that i found like eerie about this movie is you forget that everyone in war during those times wasn't like a trained person right yeah. so like right now we're playing call of duty and it's like oh these people are like the well trained the in the badass, sense right they're yeah. the elites well trained yeah exactly like there is some training but it's like but, but it's, it's not, not like it's basic training it's not like yeah intense. It, it's sort of like uh how everyone in different countries like in the philippines they have to be made to do like one year of right. army training but, but i think like... i think that see because it was an actual like it, well, mainly in Europe, but it was actually like going to affect their whole lives. It would affect every, everybody, right? So they wanted to. Be so they would it. need to. Yeah, they would have to join. Right, right, right. So like, I think if sense. anything like that happens here, it would be the same sort of thing. Like, this is someone actually attacking the country. Right. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So like, who? But but like, but mm-hmm. what I'm saying is like the um, the perspective of they're just normal people. Yeah. You know, like when, yeah. When you think about soldiers of today, it's like, oh, the few and the far between, like mm-hmm. the real brave ones, you know, the courageous people. But then, like when you see this person, it's like you had a family and a home, and you're just holding a gun. That's it. Yeah. You're literally just a person holding a gun. Yeah. Whereas, like, if you're playing this Call of Duty right now. It's like this person is like got muscles. You know, he's like mm-hmm. obviously trained. Right. You know, he's an expert combatant. Right. But they weren't experts. Like they were just like normal people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What what I liked about the film is like because you were following the first person thing and no camera angles, you were kind of like, where is the enemy going to come from next? Yeah. You know, yeah. like at the nighttime when like, oh, this is so awesome. It was nighttime and there was like a fire, and then you saw this person and you're like, oh, it's a it's an ally, mm-hmm. right? So like he's coming over and then he starts running and you're like, oh no, that's an enemy. Yeah. But it's like at nighttime you can't tell the difference, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, yeah that that those are some of those very uh like um intense scenes that and then I, he's like running away from them and you're like oh my yeah. god please survive yeah uh yeah i thought i was very very well, well done. done yeah, yeah. Totally and then angry. like the whole and it and story-wise too it like uh, i like the things near the end where it's like when he was um uh like going down the river and he saw those flowers Oh like, yeah, yeah. So that reminded him of his, his mission friend. again, yeah, yeah, yeah. his friend, and what he had to do. Totally, totally. Because it's like you could give up any time. You could. That, that that's is the how, thing. That's and that's what I he's, felt like. It's he's very... been through. Is like an ordinary person going through extraordinary circumstances. Yeah. I mean, he first of all didn't want to do it. Like, he yeah, was like, yeah, I don't, yeah. Like, why'd you about ask this? me into this mission? Yeah, like he really didn't want to do this. He didn't want to get involved in this, and then, and then it's like now it's your mission. You have to. You're involved in it now. It's like totally. And then like, how do you finish the? The mission, right? Right, right, right. The mission, I mean. So, in that way, I really like them, like, putting you in that position, which is kind of funny, like, like a weird timing in the sense, like, everyone talking about World War Three, and it's like, um, it's like war isn't like fun. <laughs> no, yeah, that that is. That's the main thing that I got out of this. Totally, story. totally, yeah. The the way they the way they framed it was like, yeah, it's not as glamorous as like. So we're playing like you know we have this like weird filter of like we think it's one way like with the movies that come out and like the, the games it's like mm-hmm. all this propaganda like it's like you're gonna be like an awesome person but right like, when you're like face to face with it it's just killing and dying yeah that's it you know yeah and i think like that's that single shot kind of that feel gave it like that bigger impact i feel yeah yeah, yeah. It made it feel more human because yeah. it's like this could be me exactly because it didn't feel like a. it didn't feel like it was a movie obviously but it didn't feel like it was the illusion of like you were in it mm-hmm. like a first person yeah kind of thing perspective yeah yeah what would you what'd you dislike about the movie um disliked uh it's difficult to say like i i think in overall like they're well, it, did, did they these use, are Mm-hmm. But uh, did did they use any like aside from the cameos of like the super famous actors were like the main characters famous? I've seen them before, but they're like British actors, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. So because I was like, I liked that it made it seem like they're human. Yeah, you know, it didn't. They're not famous, but they're yeah. like they're not they're not huge like the other supporting. But I, I was kind of like thrown off because I was like, why are there so many like famous British actors in this movie? 
Well, it's a British movie. Oh, it, really? Oh, I didn't know. Like that. it's okay, it, so know like that. World War One is British. Like they're they're the ones being here involved in this, right? It was oh, their soldiers. Okay. America oh, really? is not really involved as much in World War One. They were, but like later on. But but I mean, like they used a lot of like um, like famous British actors, and I was like, oh, this is a uniquely British movie. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Is yeah. like they. I wonder if they got sold the idea of it. Yeah, yeah, you probably, know, like yeah. But also, it's not like it's like a very quick cameo too. It's like they're not really in it long. Yeah, true, true, true. So yeah, it's yeah, probably budget or. Uh, but that felt really cool too, though. Yeah. Like how short everything like. They, these these like these mm-hmm. um impressive actors would like come in and out of the scenes like so quickly yeah they, they'd play like small roles right but key roles yeah yeah right yeah. right uh yeah I, I, the, I always like they were interesting to see like who they picked as these actors it's, it, it felt like a like it was, I thought it was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, I who will you see lot. next? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, totally, totally. I was waiting for um, Cumberbatch to come up the whole time. He was at the. Like, he was the last on. one. <laughs> yeah, he was the last one. I was like, oh, all right. I like how he had the scar over his eye. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. It's it's an epic, I guess, in a sense. Like these are not really talked about a lot, right? Totally, yeah, I agree. And uh, it's a challenge to do a move, movie, even this way so like kind of like that kind of art is pretty cool what do you mean the single shot oh yeah like, yeah no I, I thought this was an independent film in the beginning i was like this is is it an independent film maybe i am right uh i was like this is uniquely artsy i don't know wanna, maybe i think partly sure it's not like uh, one of those big budget ones but uh it's it's hard to say like now like they would want to make like big movies like in deep feel like right, movie, right right right, right. Um, but the, these are not like generally big budget type. it is interesting too when your your brother was like oh um this is like bird 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 man yeah and i was like oh yeah i totally forgot like there have been mm-hmm. things that have used the single shot before yeah like bird man um god of war but that was all set like in one area right like all bird man yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so it was, it was like much more house. easier to play around uh right this, with that. More epic. And this was more like a like a journey through a like a whole area it's like how do you do that and still keep it uh, as but much of a single shot w- as you can. what i what i like is it it made it was the i'm like still impressed by the fact that it felt like a gigantic set mm-hmm. but yeah it really probably wasn't because yeah, i do want to see i believe I, I do want to see like how they made it yeah, and yeah what the sets actually look like uh because you don't need a huge set for this one because you're just filling the frame right. every time, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, they could be going around in, in, uh, in a circle. In a circle. Yeah, yeah, And then they're just be, uh, switching, switching out, out the yeah, actors. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. That's what I was thinking, like the trenches, right? Yeah. yeah. I thought, and the trenches, like, you could play around like that, yeah. The, the trenches felt so huge and like so many moving parts, but it's like, no, they probably just like, they could have e- either like CGI'd people in, uh, you know? Yeah. Or like, mm-hmm. like it didn't need to be, this, this seemed more think, like a technological uh, right. marvel than an actual like movie movie like traditional yeah. filmmaking right uh yeah i think i think that like there had to have been lots of cgi in this yeah. movie uh some scenes i don't uh i think some of these are a lot of practical too really yeah i uh, like i want to see like it's very interesting for me to look at like how they make these films yeah totally and totally, then yeah. like how did they get the like when the first um trip wire goes off it's like like that's a cut but like oh yeah yeah, yeah. True, uh, true, true. it's like it's very interesting like very well done oh and then like showing off these like very like the rat stuff is very was a very uh big thing then too it's the, like, the rats must have been cgi like 100 percent how do you get uh, those rats you need you need it perfectly for the scene yeah yeah yeah. I, 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 I felt like some were i felt like some were and some weren't so it's like where they needed it they could use practical one like real ones and then where they wanted a specific shot like you probably have to get a hmm. cg one right uh but putting all that together like i like there's so many things involved in making it something with cg mm-hmm. getting like the the lighting getting all this so it's like what other things were on set that they were able to set it up because some of these things can be very hard to do after the fact oh, okay i see what you're saying yeah uh but uh it's interesting yeah. when you watch like behind the scenes filmmaking and you're like, oh, there's actually a lot of CGI that goes into yeah, um, into like filling out a scene. Mm-hmm. You know, if you watch like the Joker behind the scenes, like 
the whole like down the street with CGI, but you'd never think like, why would you fill that in with CGI? It's like, it's just cheaper. You don't have to make the whole scene look like it, you know? Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, whenever they looked through that, um, um, you know, like when they got to like one of the houses, or, like the window frame. Um, no, like which scene? Uh, I'm trying to think like after they've already passed through the trenches. And they went to and they oh they where the trees were cut down. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then they get to that frame, the window frame, and looking through yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. felt like is that no, uh, no, yeah, it's definitely that was definitely cut. What what I think yeah. happened was, like they would film in front of a green screen. So that would be the where that glass would be would be or where that window would be would be a green screen. And then to and the then, next uh, yeah shot to and the then, next yeah. Place. And then they'd film the green screen scene separately yeah. yeah and then the transition would be you're going through the thing yeah right so yeah. it's like you're just you're making the yeah. camera go towards the green screen and then you just transition the next scene yeah 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 but it was really well done it yeah was it was like great, one of those uh like this movie came out a while ago like they weren't uh oh really in, in this like uh for reviews the reviews were out back in december of 2019 and oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, uh, oh, so this movie is like an old movie. It's not old, and like the the wide release was yesterday uh, when we watched it. But right. uh, they had already set it up out for. Um, I think they were doing it so that they could get into the um, into the uh, the awards season, like the Oscars and things. Oh, like that. okay. Yeah. To be able to do that, I think they'd have to be out in twenty nineteen. Right, right. But then the wide release is um, was yesterday. <laughs> So, all right. So, so things you didn't like? I don't know. It's very difficult to say. Yeah, I don't know. What did you not like about it? Hmm. It's very difficult to like pinpoint something that you don't like. Even like it's. Uh, oh, I I didn't like the unrealistic um, circumstances. Of what? What was that? It like um. Like with the plane um, crashing right in front of them, and then the German soldier was in it. Like right before the friend died. Yeah. Like I was like, oh, this is just, like, and or like, um, he's climbing the bridge, and then like they were shooting at him, mm -hmm. and like, how'd you not get hit? Your luck, you, you're like Master Chief right now. You got like Cort like Master Chief's luck, and Cortana's behind you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like this guy's like the super soldier of luck. Well, and, yeah, and I like, think like how he jumped off of the river and then like he woke up and it's like he's like, oh, I'm looking for this company. And they're like, this is the company that you're looking for. And he's like, mm -hmm. what? I was like, oh, everything's being tied too nicely. It was more like it, it's a hard balance between like we want to make a film that demonstrates our skill at single shot yeah. while also having a really good story. Yeah. You know, what I mean, like like Michael Bay, for example, you want to have like a lot of explosions, but your story is going to be lacking. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's hard to have that good balance. Right. Which is why I think like eight is a good score for it mm -hmm. because it's like there were some pitfalls in the story, but in terms of like the grandeur of how awesome this movie is, like visually, yeah, it's like superb. Visually, yeah. I mean like, yeah, they, you would like, give, you uh, yeah, like there is some like leniency to the story because they basically what they're trying to tell you, but, uh, uh, it's like I, I still felt like the story was still pretty good. Like, no, no, it was general. good. It was good. Yeah. It was like Avatar, right? Like you were just trying to give us yeah. the 3D CGI, but like everyone's like, oh, it's just Pocahontas, right. you know? So you're like, okay, we like that weird balance of like story versus tech, right? You know? Yeah. And I felt that's what this movie came upon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because like the story could have been like better, I think. Like, it, it's a mm -hmm. great entry point for... I think a lot of movies are going to copy this. You know? Uh, you, you, I don't know. I, I I think the project itself is pretty tough. We'll s like, it's but, but do you remember that get done like this. Do you remember uh, Avatar when they're like, oh, Avatar is going to change the way we consume films? And I was like, what do you mean? Because they're like, oh, it's 3D. And then I, w I was like, going into it, it's like, well, yeah, there's been a lot of 3D movies where they pop out at you, but I didn't realize that you're going to do depth 3D, which was so amazing. Like, that was... Like the epitome, like I can't think of another movie that was that amazing to me. Or right. like when we were watching it, it's almost like the screen was a portal to another world. Because the right. depth, it wasn't that they were popping things out at you. They were like making it 
deeper. Mm-hmm. You know, you could see how far things went. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I feel like that's like this movie. It's like they're showing you the power of a single shot movie. Yeah, yeah. Or a seamless transition movie. But I think it's difficult still to do. Uh, I think 3D, it's a little bit more easier. Oh, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because a lot of movies just start doing 3D like that. They start doing depth yeah. after that. Because it, it is easier. You just don't have to project out, project in, you know? But, like, with this one, your whole movie has to be filmed in that specific manner. Yeah. So it's like you got to be thinking in terms of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's difficult to be done. But I thought it was a really good uh, accomplishment for this. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So you, that's, that's it. those are only negative. I think so. Like, I guess so, yeah. Like, I wasn't really... I didn't feel... Um, anything i felt like it was really good i i enjoyed the experience that they put me in yeah it totally, totally, totally. Of, well give me a like thought of like what it's like actually during this time it reminded me of the revenant i know i said that before but the reason why it was um it reminded me of the revenant is because it's so like visceral mm-hmm. it was like everything was so like human and like raw you know right right like when you saw the bodies at the end like they're like mm-hmm. being treated for their wounds I was like, man, humans, psychological, because like the pain, our pain senses will always be remain the same. Right. What it is is like psychologically, they were way different than yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Or what, when the guy got stabbed, remember? And mm-hmm. he was, I was like, that oh. is such a human emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was like, he was like, I'm gonna pick you up. He's like, ah, oh, don't, 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 don't. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. You know? He's oh, like, yeah. ow, ow, ow. Yeah. You know, it was like. It was kind of like. Oh, and like the. That would hurt. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And that the scene like. Like uh, there was no like like lying. It was straight up telling the truth. Like I'm like, am I gonna die? Yeah. Like, like, yes. yes, you're gonna die. I, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, was that like, was pretty nuts. Yeah. Like, wow. I I thought the um, I thought that stabbing scene was so powerful because it was like he he didn't seem brave about it. You yeah. Know, like, you yeah. Know, you know when people like get stabbed, they're like they're like, oh, I'm stabbed. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna die now. Mm-hmm. But he was like cowering when he got stabbed. Right. Even when, even with the pain, he was like, "Ow, ow, ow." Mm-hmm. You know, don't pick me up. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, they were just kids. Like, yeah, yeah. That like that is the thing. That is that's what it made me feel like. Yeah, like yeah. you weren't prepared for this. Like yeah. you didn't expect this to happen to you. Mm-hmm. You know, how are you gonna deal with it? Like, ow, saying ow to something is such like a, a juvenile. Yeah. You know, like, right. But I mean, we do say owl, but like in typical movies, like you never hear an owl, <laughs> you know, go watch like a Mark Wahlberg movie when he's like stabbed or something. He's like, oh, he's like groaning, but he's yeah, never yeah, like yeah. owl. Right. You know. Yeah. I think, it, yeah, that that's like with the acting and everything, I think it really puts you into the that time. And and also like when he was about to die and he's like, tell my mother I wasn't afraid, but yeah. it's like, but you were We afraid. were, right. Yeah. You know? yeah. But you want to keep that honor, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, like, when when he went to see his brother and then, like, the he was saying all those nice things about him, like... Yeah. Yeah, that is how it would be, like, you would focus on the positive, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, he was always making everyone laugh. You're right, yeah. He saved my life, you know? And then the, the memory you're left with was, like, then that brother's going to tell his children, you, your uncle always made people laugh. He yeah. He saved someone's life. But you never look at, like, the... The humanity behind. It. Remember when he saved his life, and he's like, "Oh, you're gonna get a, a medal." Mm-hmm. Remember, and he's like, "And he's like, oh, you think so?" <laughs> like he was so like proud of that medal, and the guy who already won the medal, he's like, "It's just a piece of tin. It doesn't change you." Right. You know, it made me think of like black belts too, because it's like, it's like, yeah, it's just a black belt. It's like it doesn't change you as a person. You know, it does to some degree, obviously, because experience change you. But like at the end of the day, like you're still human. Right. Just because I have this medal doesn't mean that I'm like superhuman mm-hmm. you know and i like that they were doing that because the guy hadn't achieved a medal yeah. so to him it meant so much and then the guy that already had the medal he traded it for like alcohol yeah and the guy was like well why did you trade it? it's like i was thirsty because mm-hmm. to me it means nothing you know at the end of the day we're still in this war so who cares if i have a medal is that going to comfort my children when i'm dead you know right yeah i, I think there, there was a lot more to it i felt like it's like um like the whole uh, at the end when we actually saw like what he was looking at in his tin can, um, it's his family saying, "Come back to us." 
Oh, at the very like, end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I true, felt true, like true. that was That like, was very human. That was human. I felt like it was like, why like why am I the one that survived and my friends didn't? So it's like, oh, this award isn't yeah, really true. Uh, like an important thing that way. Because it's not fair. Cause, yeah, because you just think... Them. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. Right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. And he was like looking at yeah, his family. That's all he wanted. He didn't care about like the accolades. Yeah. Just like come home to us. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that was a cool reveal. I didn't, I didn't catch it until you said it um, at the end. But like, he was really nice to that baby that they found. Mm -hmm. And she asked, like, "Do you have any children?" And he didn't say anything. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, okay." He's just ignoring that question. At the end, you find out like he has a wife and a daughter. Yeah. 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 Very impactful, I would say. Yeah, it was, it was a very human movie. Yeah. But all right, all right. So, so here's the thing. I find with a lot of these movies, like they're amazing, but I would never rewatch them. So is this one of those rewatchers, or is it like a one time only? Um, I'd watch it with someone who hasn't seen it. Yeah, it, obviously. Yeah, okay, true. <laughs> but I mean, like, is this one you're gonna like pick up and watch again? You know what I mean? It's like I feel like with these like uh, epic movies. I think I, I would not necessarily the movie, but I would watch uh, how they made it. Totally, I agree. That just I think we'll be more focused on, but that but. But like in okay. terms of rewatchability, I feel like this this movie doesn't have it. You watch it once, and you're like, I'm good. I don't know if I I, get it. I don't like watching movies as multiple times. Yeah, really? Eh? If I haven't, yeah. Mm. It's more like yeah, that's just not me. Like if I've seen it, I've seen it. It's done. Like maybe the like the st I would like to know how they made the movie. Oh, interesting. So you've never um, you've never had a no. I have, but it's like more like for people who haven't seen it, right? No, if no. It's totally just, I mean, if like... it's only for me, I'm gonna rewatch it. No, I want something new. Hmm. Because I know I know the story, I know the ending. I I don't find it as interesting. But you don't want to like jump in that world. Like that's why I watched Mulan again. Because I was no, like, it's, oh, I want to uh, jump well, back again, in this if world. I have forgotten, like so Mulan, I haven't. For, I don't remember. But but all right, so totally. So but but like, like with with the Revenant, I wouldn't be like, hey, let's put on the Revenant. Because I'm like, I'm psychologically scarred from that movie. You right. know, just yeah. like like no, I I, for any for any scarred. movie for any movie because I would feel bored watching it again. Right. Okay. True. Yeah. For me, I just needed to be always something different. Okay. So then that question doesn't apply to you but yeah. all right, for me i'm gonna say like i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily jump at rewatching this movie i would watch it if somebody had never seen it before it's like all right sure this yeah. is an epic movie yeah but like you know i wouldn't like go out of my way to watch it by myself right you know i feel like certain movies are very scarring you know yeah yeah they can be <laughs> yeah i feel like this movie is very scarring mm -hmm. um the Oh, uh, Lord of the Rings, like, mm -hmm. like it's one of those, like, I feel like that with Lord of the Rings. I've never actually finished the third movie of Lord of the Rings. Okay. I, I keep, like, trying to watch it, but it, it's, like, it's in that category for me. It's, like, one of those epic ones where you're like, ah, I could take this on, but it's going to take so long, mm -hmm. you know? like. Mm -hmm. that uh, that's funny you're talking about Lord of the Rings. I was what? just watching Quarter Crew, and they, were, um, they have, like, two videos of, of like, Talking about the sci-fi. What's quarter? Not sci-fi. What's quarter? Crew? No, like they're they're a YouTube channel and they talk about like the CG, the VFX stuff. Oh, okay, cool. And the good and bad about okay. it, or how they made. So like it's very interesting how they made like all the VFX things for um, uh, for Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. They why? would make like three types of sets. Oh, interesting. All right. One large for close-up shots. One uh, medium-sized one, and one like. Uh, 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 what do you call that? Like a small set, small size set that they can okay. use to blow up things or like a long shot. Oh yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. To get the whole like a bridge like a, or something. Like a miniature. Or, yeah, 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 a miniature one. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And then That's they cool. would be putting like the people into that or like how they would add that and things like that from there. Do Do you have any like um YouTube recommendation channels that like for like if somebody's listening and they're like oh, I want to watch like behind the scenes stuff like you guys keep talking about? Well, if we uh. For VFX things, I would say Corridor Crew. Like they're really good at like explaining things. Like Corridor how it Crew. Corridor Corridor Crew. I believe that's what the name is. Yeah. Corridor Crew. Yeah. All right. I'm, I don't even know what that word is. Corridor. Corridor. Like corridor. Oh, Corridor Crew. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. So it's is it actually Corridor Crew? Or? I think so. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it's it's like when you say that. schedule. Like trust me, out. Like schedule, bro. Schedule. <laughs> uh yeah, like they're really good. Um, so corridor crew. Yeah, I think that's the name. I always that one's would always pop up as your recommended things. Um, yeah. There's another one that I watched. The the stunt ones. 
the one you showed me. They're the same people. Oh, that's them? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's that's the go-to. Or you can, like, YouTube, like, behind the scenes. No, I just wanted to check the name, yeah. Yeah, Corridor Crew. Corridor Crew. C-O-R-R-I-D-O-R-C-R-E-W. Yeah. And basically, they just go behind the scenes and show you how things were made. VFX-wise, they, they only have, like, people that are stunt people. Sometimes they'll explain how the stunts were done. Yeah, like that martial arts one. I love that one that mm -hmm. you showed me. That was really cool. Like where the practical ones are, where's the like uh, CG versions. It's funny because like I actually do that a lot, but I feel like like I don't know. There's like something in me that like always wondering what's behind the scenes. So like yeah. I'll watch like r how like bands back in like the early two thousands mm -hmm. they put these behind the scenes of how they record the album right. and watch all those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, yeah. uh, Seosin's one is really good if you're if you're into that like. Seosin recording the album um and then like watching these movie ones like i watched a bunch of john wick behind the scenes star wars yeah. behind the scenes because i'm like how do you what martial arts are you using in this movie for me it's martial arts yeah. like for you it's like video effects i don't care about that so like or just how they do shots in general it's not just vfx like the whole thing of it right 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 but like for me i like watching the martial arts like watching right. them train and stuff yeah. and like what styles they put together for this character right um so that, like yeah, I find that really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's a lot out there. I feel like I feel like the internet is the age of, um, you know, they're like, oh, this is the age of enlightenment. Mm -hmm. I feel like the internet is the conduit of enlightenment. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah, it's yeah. like, like, oh, you still haven't watched the Ronnie. No, I haven't. Ronnie stand up. <laughs> He's like, all right. His opening joke is, "Who knew that all of human knowledge would make us stupider?" Right. And it's like, that's so true because, like, you have every single thing out there. You just Google it now. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't really need to know anything anymore. You just need to reference things. And it's like, that just making us stupider. Right. Yeah. But what I was getting at is, like, there is, like, a lot of information. Like, you can watch, like, a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. how, how the stuff's made. How things are done. Yeah. I always look into that. Just, I think stuff, those things I found very fascinating. Fascinating. And like, what what is what is enlightenment if not like an illumination of something? Like you didn't know something, so you got enlightened to something. Mm -hmm. So like the age of enlightenment, like we're watching so many docs now about like, like like Bikram. The Bikram doc is crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. The Osho doc is crazy. Um, yeah, Flint water crisis. You know, like you you could watch all of these things now. Like mm -hmm. it's just like bombarding you with information. It's the Netflix time, you know, like Netflix era. Like they've been just releasing things. Yeah, totally. It's just everything, everything, everything. Yeah. Which actually, all right, like kind of small segue because like I did want to talk about this this week, but like we watched the movie instead. But we can just like touch upon it. Um, generation Z, like they put out in the news, yeah, newspaper. Like, is this the generation of anxiety? You know. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I kind of feel like it's just we just don't know how to moderate our data. You know, it's like people are always like, oh, there's so much negativity on the internet. Personally, I'm like, I don't see any of that negativity yeah. because I don't I don't follow those channels. Right. You know? And the way algorithms work, it's like if you want to see something, we'll give you more of it because we want to sell ads. Like the the really the big thing that really changed is like marketing. You know, yeah. marketing had more tools to like attract people, to watch things. You right. Because think about before, right? We only had one TV one channel mm -hmm. like lo like local channel so there's no anxiety because people are like oh what's going on in my neighborhood oh this is blah 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 right but there was so much like negativity that was going on in the world we just didn't shine a light on it right you know yeah but now because the line's been shown the the light has mm -hmm. been shown on all these things it's like we don't know how to like regulate this data and i think that's what's contributing to anxiety right i don't think it's really i don't think we're actually anxious about things i think we just know too much it's almost like the tree of knowledge yeah. you know what i mean yeah. like like god was like if you eat from this tree of knowledge you'll be like gods but it's also negative because you'll you'll understand fear and like mm -hmm. all that stuff and it's like yeah that's true it's like we just need to ignorance is bliss yeah. and we're not ignorant anymore because you can just google it right yeah yeah <laughs> that's my, my little rant on that one mm-hmm and then, like, you fall into the pitfalls of, like, there was a guy that commented, like, we don't know how pyramids were built. I was saying, like, because I visited Egypt, and I was like, oh, these pyramids aren't, like, made by aliens, bro. Like, it's pretty normal, mm -hmm. you know? And then the guy commented, like, we don't know how pyramids were built. And it's like, I sent him a YouTube 
thing to check out and he watched it and he like just like this isn't true like okay bro so you're just in that oh, vacuum. he replied back to he you? replied back he's oh, like okay. he's like oh this is just cartoons i'd like to see somebody do it in real life. Right, like okay bro like this is so just I'm, cartoons? so Are i'm just not me? i'm not gonna convince you of anything you just yeah whatever you choose to you know what i mean so it's like it's you're in a vacuum now yeah. so if you want to continue to believe in conspiracies the algorithm will give you that yeah you know what i mean like i feel like we're in the age of fear mongering Mm -hmm. you know like there's there's like a good and bad side to like access and the good is we get access but the bad is like marketers get involved you know yeah you just have to be more smarter smarter about it yeah but then people aren't like like the fact that that guy is like oh like this science video that you sent me is not true Mm -hmm. it's like okay you're just gonna watch all the conspiracy videos because that's what your recommended feed is showing you right but that's just an algorithm made by marketers to sell you more stuff mm-hmm. they just want your eyeballs on it it's like it doesn't have to be true anymore it just needs to attract you right you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. and i think that's where we're going that that's like that's why you have to like start regulating your own feeds mm-hmm. you know like if you don't like what you're seeing, change it, bro. Like, there's so many positive. It's funny. Like when I first started out on like social media, I would only follow motivational pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. And I start unfollowing them because I'm like, ah, I don't need this anymore. Mm-hmm. You know. But like, I think a lot of people need to start following motivational pages. <laughs> like, like stop following your so. friends, bro. Like, yeah. that, you know, like FOMO. Oh, I'm missing out on something. Blah blah, blah 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 blah. It's like, all right, just stop watching your friend go do something that you wish to do. Go do it. You know, <laughs> it made no sense to me. Right. Yeah, I, I like, and for me, internet is always is a comedy. Totally, but, but what I'm what I'm saying is like you're coming from the perspective of like you know the ridiculousness of it. We 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 literally grew up in an age where we watched the internet internet proliferate. Yeah, you know, so like from that perspective, it's like of course you're gonna understand that. Yeah. this is new. Right, but like kids who have grown up in this are like they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know that. Um, Sorry, I was just like so distracted by your kill right now. That was really cool. Um, I was like, are you going to shoot him or are you going to club him? Club him. Uh, so, so I think like kids who have only grown up with the internet, all they know is the internet. And like things like TikTok. It's like, why is TikTok popular? Right. You know what I mean? You know what should be popular? Learning things on the internet. Like ASAP Science should be a really popular site for kids. But science was always like that though. Like. Not a lot of people. But ASAP Science is so entertaining. Like, no, it is. They, they do bro. it really well. Yeah, they do. do. But it's like we're dumbing ourselves down because we want to like... It, it's like a person... Well, I like, feel like it's it's gone up and down. It's like with ASAP Science, like it has gone up. The interest in science has gone up. But it's like those are the ones that were already interested in science maybe. Or like just didn't have access but, to it. Like the ones that were looking right. for it. But then there's also people that are... Um, no, I don't really care about that stuff. Too. Totally, yeah, yeah I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, vacuums though, right? Yeah. It's like, but like that's why you have to, you got to watch Ronnie stand up. It's it really addresses this. It's mm. so good. It's just like, it's like, mm-hmm. you need like internet free zones. Where it's <laughs> like because you're just gonna be stupider from the internet, right? You know, yeah. Like uh, like he brought up anti vaxxers and he's like, you got a bunch of like idiots online that are like <laughs> telling each other, oh, vaccines, are, and then you get all scared and you're like, I'm not gonna vaccinate my kids, and now you're like. Now we're right. just, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. the internet is making us stupider. Mm. True. Yeah. I don't know. But I mean, like, it's still better than World War I. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See how I did that? Run it back. Run it back. Yeah. It's yeah. still better than World War I, because World War I is like, that was just, that was from crazy times, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But like think about World War One access to information, right? They didn't have information like, oh, these Germans are coming, they're gonna bomb us, so you need to enlist now. But now we're like, oh no, actually, this is what's going on. You well, know, like uh, I mean basically, yeah, talk, talking about that, it's like it just reminds you of like the way they had to send that information was these two guys running towards them. To, exactly through oh, all bro, that. Like on. now we've got, you know, just send an instant message. <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. Just text me, bro. You don't need to run. <laughs> but like are right, the for like for them, the storyline was that they cut the power lines, the phone lines. Right. But we have satellites now, so it's like... Yeah, they work. Really yeah, exactly. But um, it, it's sort of like, like, you don't know how propaganda will like stretch, right? Like So like, because mm-hmm. there was only one medium outlet before... So like one of the positives of having the internet is like there was only... Before, there's only one medium outlet. So it's like if the, the missile, the mm-hmm. airplane thing that happened recently... Yeah. In, and then... 
Like they could have, if this was back in the day, they could have spun it and been like, oh, they're attacking us. We need to go to war with them, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah, right? Mm-hmm. But like now it's like, no, they just put out a tweet saying like, we're taking responsibility for this, blah, 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 you know? Right. And we all know it's like, okay, like, like the, the communication lines are open now, mm-hmm. you know? And I feel like that's a positive thing in terms of the internet. Because right. like now we won't be like blindsided by like, why are we going to this war? Mm-hmm. Right. Know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, not saying like that, not pointing a finger to it, but like the, like the 2001 war with like, turns out they were just going for oil, mm-hmm. not weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. You're right. Right. So it's like, there you go. You're using this as like, like there are, there are pros mm-hmm. to access to information, but there yeah. are also negatives. Cause like, you know, the masses are sillier and sillier. Yeah. Yeah. But, all right. So, so oh, a final score. I'm gonna stick with the eight. I was gonna give it an eight point five. I was thinking nine, but I was like, okay. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll stick with the eight. I think eight. It's fine. All right. I think it's still good. I was thinking eight point five, but I think I'm gonna go eight as well. <laughs> okay. When when I I was like prior to like discussing what I didn't like about it. Yeah. It's so weird how that works. Eh? It's like after reflecting. Mm-hmm. Like if you take something at face value, you have like an initial reaction of it. Yeah. But then if you like reflect, like as we just did, it's like you have a different perspective on it. Well, yeah, because we we. But but I'm saying like apply yeah. that to life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. people have an initial perspective on something, they need time to reflect, and then they're like, well, how do I really feel about this? Yeah. yeah. Also, like get other inf- information that's out there too. Like it's not just what you know. Yeah, yeah sounding boards. Like that's why we're talking about it. It's like yeah. I didn't know the things that you brought up. Yeah. Right. But. After talking about what I didn't like in, in the movie, I'm gonna keep it at eight. Mm-hmm. Like, it was the story thing that got me. Like the the holes that, that I remember like that vividly now. Like, that is what. Mm-hmm. But I always I like, felt oh, like I always look at like whenever I see any show, it's like okay, let's just put in there for the story. Let's just put in there. Like it it is meant to push the story in the in the direction. Totally, totally. I just felt like it was very like mediocre as compared to like. I guess so. Maybe the that's... graphics, like the graphics, were at a ten, mm-hmm. right? And the story was at like a seven. Mm-hmm. You know, if you look, if you score, all right, score them two differently. Graphics, what would you give it? Solid ten, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like that was the best, amazing. But like story wise, mm-hmm. like let's say it wasn't you're taking graphics away from it, just story itself, it's gonna get a lower score. I guess yeah, yeah. Like I, I would it's, give story like a seven. It's it's the feeling it gave me. I think that's why I liked it a lot more. Right, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So on the whole, that's why I'm like it's an eight because yeah. like graphics Altogether. were amazing, but story like hindered it. Yeah, gonna like, keep it an eight. What it has to be, what it was doing was very difficult, and like telling the story in that way was really good. But mm-hmm. it does, I guess, affect the story in the best way that you want to tell it. Right. True. Yeah. But. Uh, I feel like it still gives you that message that they want to give you. Basically. True, yeah, I agree. So. Yeah, you walked away with like greatness. What um would you would you recommend watching this in the theater or waiting till you're home? I think these are good in theater. I know. I was gonna say. I was like, I I don't know how this would translate in a home yeah. scenario. Yeah. You know, because like the thing is, we're in a theater. We're all quiet. You're fully engaged. This is like yeah. one of those like theater movies. Yeah. But like if you watch this at home with like your friends and family, it's like you're kind of losing the experience. <laughs> I wonder if how many movies actually like film movies for that. Uh, I think yeah, Tarantino does that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he was saying like how he films it for the theater watching experience. Yeah. 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 All right. So definitely check this one out in theaters. That's our final recommendation. Mm-hmm. And uh, enjoy. Don't go to war because war is crazy, especially World War One. Yeah, and uh, Not fun. and um, use the internet with caution. Right. All right. Until next time. Take it easy. Peace.